All right, you guys, we're just gonna do a squat with a dumbbell curl. Now, I'm going to show you today with two dumbbells, but if your program says one dumbbell, you're just gonna hold the one with both hands in front of you, okay? So you're just gonna get your squat stance. So unless I have said wide or sumo, um, a foot position in your program, then you can maintain whichever squat position is most comfortable for you. So, you know, I've got my, I like my, my toes turned just slightly out. I mean, not enough that you would notice it, but just enough that they're slightly turned out, they're shoulder width apart. And then of course, all of our squatting cues are going to be in place, right? So core is nice and tight, shoulders are down and back. Um, I'm going to keep a nice neutral spine, meaning I'm not bending my head, I'm not pulling it up, just keeping my, nice, my neck in a nice neutral state. And I'm just gonna hinge my hips back into that squat. I'm gonna come up and curl. Go down into the squat, come up and curl. So remember with the squat, I'm not bending over, right? I'm not bending my knees first. I'm hinging my hips out first to sit back in that chair. And then I'm gonna push through my heels, come up, I'm in the upright position now, and I'm going to curl. There you go, just do that for sets and reps, or if this is Tabata or hit, then do it for time.